Hi, I'm Laura Wise of Wise Agriculture. Um, we're visiting one of our customers here in Cumbria today, and he has just put in, about a year ago, a new cattle handling facility. Um, and he's just really done a great job of the process of what he's done. So I just wanna talk you through a few things of when you are putting together a handling facility, things to look out for to keep things safe and efficient. So if we look at the sides of where the cattle are going to be walking through, he's put in solid concrete panels. Um, so you'll see that the working side of the cattle handling facility is over here. So Ted, if you just want to... So people can be on this side doing what they need to be doing, a lot of activities going on, but any animal walking through here will not be distracted by what's going on over there. They will just walk forward, and if you look, everything is nice and clean, there's nothing that's hanging in the way that's going to distract the animal. You know, no chains that are hanging down. Um, no things like things hanging on fences. If we get to the tub, and this is where our cattle are going to walk through to, he has a bud flow tub from AeroFit. Now you can use this two ways. Um, the first way is cattle can come in through this gate. So it would be open all the way through here. Your cattle would walk in. Your handler would close the gate behind them. Then your cattle would walk to the end here and then you would just push your gate around. So the cattle would flow into the race, turning back to where they came from. Now the way that Mark does it is he just has this gate open all the way. Just take the camera now and then just brings cattle in through alongside here so the rest of this video we're going to do it from your animal's point of view kind of at height eye height so we're going to walk around so see how this curb just draws your cattle around and then you come through straight to the end of your race now before we go any further let's talk about what's on the ground here so underneath this is concrete what Mark found is not only was it making cattle slip when they were coming in, which just kind of accelerates um, a little bit of panic in them, but it was also just making them stop because you had the contrast, the visual contrast. So that's another thing that you want to think about when you're designing your cattle handling system. Little things like that. What's going to make and what's going to stop an animal from wanting to move forward? So we'll look at the end of the race here. The other thing we want to think about is our lighting. So we don't want any shadows. We don't want a lot of contrast. We want cattle to have a nice light, lit area that they'll want to move towards to. So if it's a dark kind of dingy area that they're going towards, they're not going to want to go towards it. So here we've got a nice open view. If you look down, you can see through the end of the race or the end of the crush gate, that is the AeroQuip 3E head gate, and it purposely has those, slight, those slats to let light through. So we'll just walk through as we're an animal. Now notice, no distractions. We've got our nice sheeted sides here on our races. Um, you can actually put extra panels here if you wish. So as you can see, Edward's walking towards, he would be completely covered if that was raised, if the sheeting was raised a little bit higher on that side, if that's something that you need. And then we'll come through. Now we're here to our anti-back bar. So an animal would hit this with the top of their head and it would just move up. And then once that moves up, it just drops down and then they can't back up. So it just keeps them moving forward and keeps things just going in the right direction. So we'll continue to walk through. Edward, do you want to open up the head gate? Right, so now that the head gate's open, you can see that that's just really clear and open, lots of nice light, something that the animal can see. There's a place for them to escape, a place for them to go through, some place that they want to walk towards. Then we'll just keep going. If you look down, um, he has a sternum bar in, just he's fattening cattle, and if some of them want to drop to the ground, that just keeps them up. And then if we look down at the floor of the crush even, he's put sawdust in just to continue out that consistency. Again, sawdust at the edge of the crush as well. So there's no contrast. You know, just think, if we look here, look at the contrast between that concrete floor 
in the sawdust area. It's just enough to make an animal stop and not want to go. And then if we look down the side, so you see the solid concrete panel. It's a nice protection on this side to keep the cattle flowing towards the front of the tub. And then I'm just going to hand the camera off to Ted. So the other thing when we talk about safety and efficiency of cattle handling is you want to keep things nice and quiet. So when we look at the Aero Quick Crushes, um, he has the 87 series manual squeeze crush. We have rubber bushing on everything. We don't have a claim of metal on metal. So it keeps things just really nice and quiet as you're working. The other thing that they have found highly beneficial is the ability to move the head gate any point alongside the crush. So if you have cattle coming in and maybe you have a taller animal that can see over this panel because they've not put a top one in here and he can see over, then Mark can just move himself here to operate his crush out of eyesight of the animal. So it's just little things to think about when you are building your cattle handling system that make a massive difference. And as Mark said, keep it simple, keep it quiet, keep it safe. Um, if you are interested in improving your own cattle handling system, just contact us, wiseag.co.uk, and we'd be happy to help.